Jersey Sports Zone's 2024 Camp Countdown Series is made possible by RWJ Barnabas Hell. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Tom's River North is brought to you by Community Medical Center in Tom's River. Micah Ford won Jersey Sports Zone's Zoman Trophy for two straight years as the top player in the state. Two years that saw Tom's River North win back-to-back -back Group 5 state championships. Coach Dave Azarowicz is replacing the best player in the state at QB, the top two rushers, the top two receivers, and three 100 tackle players on defense. But it would be foolish to forecast a big drop off for the Mariners, despite the loss of all those playmakers. The 2024 edition of TRN is still loaded with talent and motivated. Yeah, you know, every single year that I played, we always had a chip on our shoulder, you know, losing our freshman year in the state championship game, you know, just having young guys my sophomore year, and then junior, uh, you know, we had a lot of talent, and now we lost a bunch of people, but we're always pushing through uh, with the chip on our shoulder. Yeah, after uh, losing a good uh, senior crew, uh, we know, we just got to push through. Uh, we got uh, big shoes to fill, and it's all about confidence and determination. When Ford went down with an injury against eventual state champ RBC, TJ Valerio stepped in at quarterback and gave everyone a glimpse of the future. Valerio threw for nearly 500 yards and seven TDs in limited action. He's been preparing for three years, working with one of the best QBs in the country to get ready for this season. Well, practicing with Micah, you know, he just pushed me to that next level, being as great as he is, you know, pushed me to be as great as he was. And, you know, playing that RBC game, showing everyone, you know, as soon as Micah went down, I heard everyone, like, celebrating, you know, the game's over. So that really, like, put a fire under my butt, you know, made sure to show everyone that, uh, that was wrong. Uh, it's not going to be that much different because AYF, me and TJ has been playing since we first started playing football together. So it's going to be automatic with our chemistry. The Mariners have a number of track standouts who will give Valerio a lot of weapons to work with including Cameron Thomas, who had 17 catches and four touchdowns last year. Mordecai Ford was part of TRN's 4x100 relay team that won the meet of champions as the fastest in New Jersey. He's ready to bring that blazing speed to the backfield. Man, I think our potential is like absolutely insane. I think all of our receivers should be well over 800 yards. I feel like our run game should be well with our quarterback. Just running track too, he's pretty fast also. Jalen Matthews made huge headlines with his commitment to Rutgers, giving the Scarlet Knights an All-American offensive lineman. Matthews sparked the Scarlet Knights to one of their best ever recruiting classes. What shouldn't be overlooked is the entire group in the trenches. We just like to play smash mouth football. We'll tell you where the ball's going, come stop it. We like to play nose, hard, hard football, and just great strength. Everyone's all tough and physical. You know, we always play to the end of the play, you know. Everything's great with the line. On defense, Blaze Boland returns with an even 100 tackles, 29 tackles were lost, and 10 sacks in an amazing junior campaign. The Mariners defensive unit had 34 sacks, 157 TFLs, and 26 turnovers a year ago. Boland is confident that this year's group can maintain that high standard. Defense can be absolutely explosive, super physical. That's what we strive on here at practice. An absolute dog, so you can be expecting all that. The Shore Conference returns to geographic-based divisions, which means we'll see a whole lot of TRN against Ocean County teams in September. The regular season finale against Donovan Catholic will give the Mariners a chance to avenge one of its two losses from a year ago. Winning three state championships is unprecedented for New Jersey public school football. Tom's River North is ready to take on that enormous challenge. I love being like the underdog, honestly, everybody overthinking us, but I know what we have here and I know we're going to kick everybody's butt. We've been working out since, you know, early, early, like before even summer even started, before school even got out. You know, it's been all of our minds, you know, that great class graduated, you know, everyone thinks we're done, we got something to prove. In Tom's River, Tom Bridge Grampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.